Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Welcome back to my channel And if you are just viewing my channel for the first time Welcome to my channel My name is Balkis and I make modest outfits Abaya, hijabs, jubabs, magazine devices I need to modest So today's tutorial is on how to make this butterfly habaya with inner hijab Z jubab I don't even know what to call it I know it is butterfly habaya and I know it has inner hijab So this is sort of like the remaining fabric So I just decided to use it as a veil as a veil on it so today's tutorial is on how to make this and uh, please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe so these are how will look like at the end of this tutorial and for this tutorial i'm using three yards to three meter fabric and i'm using a plain and a pattern fabric so this is like a lycra fabric but you can use jesse fabric also so the fabric length is about 70 inches so basically i'm using one to eight inches by 70 inches fabric or two 75 centimeter fabric so the first thing I'm doing is just to fold the fabric into two. And I'm folding at the 108 inches or the 275 inches part. Then after folding into two, I'm just going to fold into four. So I fold that into four. The next thing I'm just going to do is I'm going to insert my abaya length, which is 55 inches for me. So I'm just going to mark that. So after marking, I'm just going to cut it out. So that lower part will be for the overhead hijab piece. So I'm just going to put it aside. So coming to this now, the next thing I'm going to do is to insert my neck measurements. So for my neck width, I'm going to be using 3.5 inches or 9 centimeter. And then the neck depth for the front is actually different from that of the back. So for the back, I'm going to use 1 inch or 2.5 centimeter. And then for the front, I'm going to use 3 inches or 8 centimeters. So I'm just going to connect my front and back neck. So after connecting, the next thing is just to take a shoulder slant. So for the shoulder slant, I'm going to be using 1.5 inches or 4 centimeter. So I'm just going to come down by 1.5 inches. And then with my straight way, I'm going to connect it to the neckline. So after connecting, the next measurement I'm going to insert is my round sleeve measurement. So I'll just take my tape around my round sleeve. Then I'm going to divide it by two. So I'm taking four inches or 10 centimeter there. Then coming to the down part of my abaya, overhead abaya piece, I'm going to take 14 inches there because I don't want the down part to be too wide for me. So I'm taking 40 inches or 36 centimeter. Then I'm just going to make a slant line or a diagonal line from the 14 inches point to my round sleeve measurements. So I'm just going to connect that point. So 
So it's not connecting this and it's just for me to cut out. So I'm going to trace my shoulder slant. And then I'm going to cut my back neckline first. Because the front neckline is deeper. So after which I'm going to trace the diagonal line to the last edge of the fabric. So we should have something like this then i'm just going to remove the back piece and then i'm going to trace out the front neckline So we'll have this for our front piece, which the neck is deeper, and then the other piece for the back piece. So the next thing I'm just going to do is I'm going to place the fabric right side facing each other. So I have my front piece there, so I'm just going to place my back piece on it. So after placing, I'm just going to join the shoulder. From the neckline, I'm going to join the shoulder. I'm going to leave the sleeve opening and then I'm going to join the sides. So I'm done joining the shoulders. So I'll just go ahead and join the sides. I'm leaving the sleeve opening and I'm joining the sides. So this is what it looks like. I have my sleeve opening and then I've joined the sides and then the shoulder. So I have my neckline then. So I'm just going to put it aside. So the next thing is to draft out our hijab piece. So for this now, I have 17 inches by 14 inches. That is 43 centimeter by 36 centimeter. You can actually cut straight on your fabric. You don't have to draft on the pattern paper so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to take 2.5 inches or seven centimeter and i'm going to connect it to form a straight line so after connecting the next thing is i'm going to take my wire piece and then i'm going to measure the front and then the back neckline So for the front neckline, I'm having 13 inches. And then for the back neckline, I'm having 10 inches. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to divide each one by two. So for the front, I'm having 6.5. And then for the back, I'm having 5 inches. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to slant my tape to 6.5 inches or 17 centimeter. And then I'm going to connect it with my curve rule. Then I'm just going to insert the back measurement, which is five inches or 13 centimeter. So 
So I took the front there and then I took the back measurement. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the midpoint there. Or I'll just go ahead and take 7.5 inches or 19 centimeter. After which I'm going to slant my tape by 3 inches or 8 centimeter. So the next thing I'm just going to do is I'm going to make curve to join those three points. So I'm just going to curve that a little because I don't want sharp edges. So I'm just going to come to that front part and I'm going to take 1 inch or 2.5 centimeters. So I'm just going to connect it. So basically this is what we are going to have for the hijab piece. So I'm just going to trace out the pattern. So after tracing out the pattern, I'm just going to place the pattern on the folded fabric. So the fabric is folded into two. Then I'm just going to pin it to the fabric. After which I'm going to trace it out. So after tracing it out, we're going to have this. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to stitch from that edge to the front edge. Just from the back to the front. So I did that already. So on the right side, we're going to have this. So I'll just go ahead to use my plain fabric to cut my jab cap. So for this, I'm going to, I'm going to fold the fabric into two. Then I'm just going to check if I have 3.5 inches. Or nine centimeter after which I'm going to fold into four then I'm just going to make my hijab cap of so the length is about nine inches or 22 centimeter so I'm just going to cut it out And I'm going to notch the midpoints. So what I'm just going to do now is I'm going to attach this to the hijab piece, right side facing each other. So I'm just going to place the notched parts of the hijab cap to the joining of the hijab piece. So I'm just going to pin that down. And I'm going to join the two sides that way. So I'll just go ahead and do that. So after joining, we're going to have this. So the next thing is just to close up the front part of the job. Then I'm just going to go ahead and join the hijab cap to the hijab piece to the habaya piece so to join that and i'm going to take the midpoint of the back neck so i'm just going to chuck that so i'm going to start joining from there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the back joining of the hijab to the notched part of the back neck right side facing each other Or to make it easier for you, you can just turn your fabric or your abaya piece to the wrong side. Then place your hijab piece in it. 
then just align those two sides and then pin it all so just go ahead and join it round that way so after joining we are going to have this So the next thing is just to cut a sleeve band from the plain fabric also. So for the sleeve band, I have 8 inches or 20 centimeter by 8 inches or 20 centimeter. So I'm just going to fold it into two and I'm folding on the right side. After which I'm going to fold into four. So I'm just going to join the side to fit my wrist measurements. So after joining... That's what we're going to have. So the next thing I'm just going to do is, my fabric is, my abaya piece is on the wrong side. So I'm just going to place the right side of it in it. And then I'm going to stitch it around. And I'll do the same to the second sleeve also. So after stitching, that's the final look of our Jubabu by a piece, overhead by a piece. So the next thing is just to come to the down part and just aim the lower part or you can just overlock it if you have an overlocking machine. So this is the finished look of the abaya piece. I hope you enjoyed it tutorial. And if you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And if you have any question, you can just drop it in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. Jazakum Allah khayran. And I will see you in the next tutorial, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.